Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to yet another video. Glad to see everybody here today. I'm hoping you're having a great day. Mine has been okay. So today I got a quick video. We're going to do a little uh, upgrade on my Synology NAS. I have the 918 Plus. It's getting a little old now. It only has four gigs of RAM in it. Um, and I've gotten to where now I'm running Docker, Plex Media Server, Backups, File Server, uh, doing a little uh, um, security camera stuff with it. And I think it's getting slowing down on me. So I need to add some memory. And I found this on Amazon. $18. That's a 4 gig module of... 1866 PC3L memory. This is supposed to be a good fit. You don't want to use the uh, Synology memory, Synology branded memory. It's expensive. If you can get away with this, let's do it. Let me show you what we got on the... Uh, so this is my DS918 Plus. It's a four bay NAS. Got two volumes in it. I got a what, an 11 terabyte. I think it's it's probably been 12 terabytes on one and 12 on another that's not showing. Um, it's got a quad core Celeron processor, 1.5 gigahertz, four CPU cores, four gigs of RAM. And as you can see, I'm on uh, DSM 6.2. That's fixing to upgrade to seven. I've got everything backed up. Got it on a thousand VA UPS. So. Let me shut this thing down and uh, bring it down here on the table. Pull the cover off of it, slap some memory in it, put the cover on, put it back in, and see how it does. So, y'all hang with me. Okay, so here is the 918 Plus. It's got four drive bays right here. Got four eight terabyte drives in it. My two 256 gig SSDs are back here. The memory is right in here. Make sure you're looking in the right place here. Okay. So the memory is right inside here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull these drives out, the first two, and keep keep track of where they where they come from. And right inside there, I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me right there there's where the memory goes so i'm going to lay it down just like that so the memory slots right here open this up and that's what we're looking at this is the atec brand uh, it's probably it probably comes from a, a SK Hynix or something like that. You see this little key right here, this little keyed area. Hope you can see that. That fits into a little keyed area right here. Put it in at an angle. Let's put it in an angle again where the key catches. It's all the way down in there. So now I should have two. Four gigabyte modules. Oh, there it is right there. All right. Now I'll put my drives back in. Come on. There we go. All right. Back in there. Should be able to plug it all back up and hopefully it works. Let's try that. Okay, got everything plugged back in. Everything's back up in the cabinet here. You can probably hear it beeping and booping up there. That went together really easy. Anybody can do it. I mean, even me. So let's look at my screen. Here is control panel. And it now has 8,192 megabytes of memory. So this should give me enough overhead now if I want to run a virtual machine on it along with all the Docker stuff and everything that I'm doing. Um, yeah, that's 
$18 upgrade, piece of cake. So if I look at my docker now, I've only got one container running right now, but I'm using 1.2 gigs of eight for the whole thing. So yeah, that is awesome. If you got any questions about how to do this, let me know. I'll answer them. And if I can't answer them, I'll find somebody that can. Uh, very simple. It cost me $18 off Amazon for a four gig stick. I think you can go 16 is the max limit on memory on this thing. Um, I'd like to do that at some point. But anyway, I hope y'all like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. Be notified. If you like this content, let me know down in the comment section. If you have upgraded your NAS, uh, your storage system, let me know what it is. You know, if it's a PC, server, NAS, QNAP, Synology, can't think of other brands right offhand. Let me know. I'd like to know. Hope everybody's had a great day today and a great week already. And until the next video, thanks for watching. Boop-de-boop. Boop-boop-boop.